symphony has been um, um, always a very important orchestra for contemporary music. Uh, it has a very strong tradition of uh, giving world premieres and UK premieres of many contemporary works. I picked up symphony number no. four for different different reasons because what we're trying to achieve in our programs as well is, is, a, is an interesting mixture of styles and um, um, and, and different music languages in one program. Uh, so uh, Pintereski Symphony Number no. Four was written uh, to celebrate uh, the 200 years of French Revolution. It's a, it's a one slow movement. This symphony. It's it's similar to Mahler's Adagio from Tenth Symphony that we know. It doesn't impose on any any strong ideas on you. It, it lets you think and and meditate through it. Pendiretsky is um, is a very interesting personality uh, because uh, he made his name as an avant-gardist composer, but then at some uh, point of his life he entirely changed his music style. So um, he, he became uh, a strong follower of Mahler, of Bruckner, of Sibelius. So basically his music today is a very neo-romantic. Um, he uses a very, very, uh, I don't want to say simple, but, but very easy to understand and very melodic language, um, which relates directly to composers like Bruckner and Sibelius. Um, so um, many people think Pendiretsky is, an, is a... He's a pioneer of avant-garde music, but actually his music is very smooth and is very easy to understand. So um, please don't be scared and give it a go.